Come from a familiar scripture there. Uh, we're going to come from Matthew, the 17th chapter. Very familiar scripture there. And we're in the word and we're going to stay in the word, but I, I, I got to tell you, warning, 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 because I'm a flow in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm going to flow in the Holy Ghost. Our title today. This is that place. Mm. Minister Dale, this is that place. Amen. There's a place in life where, as the minister, Sonia Cherry, was saying about heaven adore you, mm. earth adore you. Mm -hmm. But I want to see your glory. In this temple. Yeah. In this temple. Mm -hmm. We glorify you in the heaven. Yes. We glorify you in the earth. Yes. But I want to see you be glorified. Come on. Right. In this temple. Yes. In this place. Yes. I, want, I, 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 I know a lot is going on. Mm -hmm. I know happened. And we talk about the transfiguration. I, I, I know Jesus get in there. Mm -hmm. And he started talking about this is my son. All right, all right. Who I am well pleased. Yes, yes. See, first, and it's a familiar scripture because when Jesus got baptized, I'm all in the word, so you got the word. Yes, come on. When Jesus got baptized, he heard from heaven and then said, this is my beloved son. That it was there to encourage Jesus. Uh -huh. But we hear it again, but it's not there to encourage Jesus. Mm -hmm. But it's there to the, encourage the disciples. Yeah. Yeah. To let them know about you at a special place. Mm -hmm. You're at the mountain. Uh -huh. You're in a special place here. You've been invited to see some things that nobody else been invited to see. Uh -huh. You, 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 you're in a place now where I'm revealing to you only what you can testify to. Wow. Wow. Not about what you heard. Uh -huh. Not about what that you read. Mm -hmm. But the glory now is being shined in front of you. Yeah. And, and it's not like these bright lights that are, that are shining now. This glory we're talking about is not from the heavens and not from the earth, but it's from this temple. Come on. All right now. It's from this temple. Yeah. You ever been in a place where there's so much going on above you and around you, but God desires to be glorified in you? Yeah. Yeah. That you can't even express it, but you just know there's a, a volcano erupting inside of you to give God glory oh, on yeah. this place, yeah. on this temple. Yeah. Be glorified in me. Yes. yes. And, 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 and I kind of wonder, you know, why he selected Peter, James, and John. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible really talks about the word is really given to you in the amount of what you can receive, right. maintain, mm -hmm. and apply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the New Testament, you see books of Peter, James, and John. Mm -hmm. See, see, they didn't get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. Because they start looking at signs and, and they start looking at the miracles, but Jesus kept trying to get them to see in this temple. Mm -hmm. 
He brought them to a place where they can see in this temple. Right. They kept seeing blind eyes see. Uh -huh. They kept seeing the lame walk. They kept seeing the dead raised. And they got stuck on that because Jesus asked them a question. That how do you know they got stuck? Because of how they answered the question. Right. <laughs> he said, who do I say that I am? All right. Some say a lion, some, 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 some say a prophet, and we, we got names from industries out there, still don't know who the is. Oh, oh my God. They oh God. God. still think Jesus is one of the prophets. I mean, they're giving their life to it. They go from door to door, but they think he's another prophet. Uh-huh. And he said, who do you say? See, because for him to be glorified in your temple, only you, oh, oh, you can answer that. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you say I am? Yeah. Yeah. And Peter said, that I'm the Christ, the son yeah. of the living God. But he really didn't understand. He got revelation, but he wasn't able to understand the revelation he got. Because when Jesus began to talk about what he's going to have to go through to be the Christ, the son of the living God, he started denouncing the walk that Jesus uh -huh. knew. He yes. said, yes. 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 But Jesus knew that we don't understand. Right We've been glorified oh my God. in this temple. Yes. Yes. See, we, when we saw the glory that came from within, mm -hmm. see, we didn't understand there was such a price for that glory. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. See, the glory showed up in clouds. By day, we saw the glory of, 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 of God in clouds and, and pillars at night. Yes, yes. Yes. But this was a different type of glory. It, it, it didn't come from up above, it came from within. Yes. He acknowledged the God that was living inside of him. Even though when you listen to the conversation, Matthew don't talk about the conversation, but Luke talk about the conversation. Luke and Luke 9 31, it says, and see, this here was the most important part. Because Jesus understood that if nothing inside of you starts dying, if you don't present yourself as a living all right, sacrifice, all right, all right. then there can be no glory. Yeah. If you don't think about writing your obituary and why you're alive, if you don't think about what you want to leave behind, yeah. if you don't think about what your assignment is, that there will be no glory. Oh, my God. Why would you talk to a people that still have life? Uh, they have an opportunity to give God glory in their temple. Mm -hmm. Why would you tell the people about preparing their obituary? It's not about dying. That's right. It's about dying to the flesh. Yes. Right. Yes. It's right. about dying to your will that others may go forward. Right. It's about you being a power, not to just empower yourself, but a generation. Yes. Jesus was dying. Because he was sinful. Wow. He was dying because there was a sinful world. Yes. yes. Why, 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 why? You've been with Jesus all this long time. You want to make temples. <laughs> you want to make temples. And, 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 and see, sometimes pe people talk because they got something to say. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they just want to hear them. <laughs> See, 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 Jesus keeps taking them back to the same place about the glory that's living inside of this temple. Amen. Who do Amen. you say I am? Wow, wow. See, because you have to answer that. that no, no, no one can answer that for you. So, 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 see, Peter was thinking that we're on the mountaintop. It's good for us to be there. Yeah, it's no good to be there. But what he really was saying that let's hang around for a while. Let, 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 let's linger. But the mountaintop experience really was designed for you to go back in the valley to help someone else come All right, out. All right, yes. Wow. It wasn't for you to stay on the mountain. Right. It was for you to go back 
can help those that are in the valley experience the mountain. Yeah. It's never about you. That's right. That's it. That's right. And, 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 and Jesus said in his word that I am the way, yeah. the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. Not Moses, mm -hmm. not Elijah. Yeah. And, and I ask myself a question, why is Moses in the life? I mean, I, 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 I mean, why not Abraham? Mm -hmm. You know, why not Ezekiel? I mean, you know, why? It, it, it talks about Moses, the law, mm -hmm. and the prophet. Mm -hmm. You see the, the law, and now you see the prophet. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you see Moses that brought the children of Israel out, establishing the children of Israel, children of Israel. but then you see Elijah yeah. restored. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you see the law being fulfilled. Come on now. And then you see a redemption take place. Being redeemed in the New Testament. Yeah. The law and the prophet. Yeah. You, you see these great men on mountaintops. Mm -hmm. Seeing a glimpse of the glory. Mm -hmm. Moses been gone 1,400 years. Elijah 900 years and and, and, and you want to talk about dying. You would have thought that Peter would have been like he did when he heard the voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son, hear him. Mm -hmm. For you to cause the glory of the Lord to rise in you, there's only one voice that will cause the glory to rise. It's not a lie, it's not a mm. It's only one voice that can cause you to be able to see yourself as an overcomer, mm -hmm. more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you're more than enough for any situation that arrives inside yeah. of you. It's only one voice. Sometimes there's too many voices in our mind. We have to quiet those voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear him and hear him only. Mm -hmm. See, what Jesus is showing us here is that you've been called to a greater work. Yeah. And the only way to glory, to be able to glorify God in his greater work, there has to be you being able to surrender your will to God's will. Yeah. See, the glory of the Lord showed up at that place there because, see, Elijah was taken up in a chariot. Mm -hmm. So he, he, for, 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 for those that are caught up, you, you know how you get to heaven. He, he's an example of that. But, but, but Moses, Die. Yeah. And, 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 and now we see how people are able to get to heaven like that. They both showed up. Come on. No matter how you get there alone. Okay, now. Come on, you get there. Look at you. 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 Living in cycles, like yeah. you're really not thinking about life. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's people down there every day, not even thinking about where they're going. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. There's Christians that live every day, not knowing whether they're fulfilling the will of God. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's on the heart and the mind of Jesus yeah. in this place. In this place. And, and, and just want to say one other thing to me that a lot of times we spend all our time mm. trying to get people to understand who we are, those that are close to us. We're losing time, mm -hmm. we're losing effort, mm -hmm. we're about to lose our mind trying to get people to understand what only God can understand. Yeah. We spend all our time and effort to get people to like us mm -hmm. when they weren't designed to like us. Oh. Their, their, their disliking us motivate us. Yeah. Oh. Easy time. 
and never pushed people into the presence of God. It was a difficult time when you got out of your strength, when you had nothing else left in you but to call on the name of the living God. And we spend too much time with stuff and people outside of us and instead of elevating it and, 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 and nurturing the God that's inside of us. Let me say it this way. When Jesus told them about presenting themselves a, a living sacrifice, what he really was saying is that let the glory mm -hmm. of the Lord be revealed yeah. Yeah. inside of you. Wow, 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 wow. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed inside of you. And, 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 and when they heard a voice that came from heaven, the voice was really designed to do one thing, to elevate the same glory that they saw inside of them. See, there's glory that's laying dormant inside of us. Yes, amen. Yes, Jesus. And sometimes the Lord allows the devil to buffer us so that we'll come running to him. Sometimes he'll save our lives and he'll allow the grace of God to manifest itself in our lives so we'll come to our senses and say that I should have been in, in, in a home going service but now I'm in worship for yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the glory rising up in your life. Yeah. See, you can't see who you are by looking in the mirror. You can only see who you are by the glory that rises up inside of you. Mm. If there's no glory that rises inside of you, you are an imposter. You've got a, a fake identity. You are not real. Mm. <laughs> the real you is not what you're going through. The real you is not what they say about you. The real you is what's living inside of you. The real you start talking to you like this when you're ready to go in the power. Mm -hmm. When you feel like you were left all alone. Mm -hmm. When you feel rejected, abandoned. Mm -hmm. When you feel like nobody loves you and you have no help. <laughs> the real you start talking like this. I can do all things. Oh my God. Oh my God. Through Christ, yes, you meant to be. Yes. I'm not a comfort, but I'm more than a comfort. Uh -huh. The real you, I'm, I'm talking about in this place. Uh -huh. He took them to a place that they can see the manifestation of life, not outside, mm -hmm. but inside of him. Come on. There's a life in you. Yeah. 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 There's a light in you that is designed for darkness. Oh, I wish somebody else go through all what I'm going through. No, it's been designed for your life. Hallelujah. Your darkness cannot stand in the light that's inside of you. Hallelujah. You're greater and brighter. You're illuminated more than you can even imagine Hallelujah. if you surrender all. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Every tear that you have shed mm -hmm. designed to give God glory. Yes. Every rejection that you have faced it's designed to give God glory. Wow. Every pain that you endure is designed to give God glory. Amen. Jesus, keep giving an example. And, 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 and what amazed me the most that when difficult times came, he didn't manifest his glory like he did at the Mount of Transfiguration. When he was in the garden, he kept praying. He kept using his human side. He let tears flow flow out like human beings. You know, he, he, he just kept manifesting himself as a man on earth. He kept showing us you can go through all of this and still do God's will. Yeah. Yeah. He kept presenting himself mm -hmm. as a man. Yeah. But then when he got on the mountain, oh, 
He showed a side of himself in that place that no one had ever seen before. That no one. That's why he, he kept trying to tell who do you say I am? Mm -hmm. I know you say I'm Christ of the Son of the Living God, but I'm really God. Mm. In the flesh. I'm really God in the flesh. Yes. I'm really God in the flesh. And that's what he's trying to tell you. There's so much availability and power that's inside of you. If he begin to show you a little, a little bit of it, somebody have to put some smell in some you. <laughs> they have to wake you up. We get a little glimpse of who God is inside of us. And because no one else is doing it, we try to dumb it down ourselves. Mm -hmm. And God's trying to show things to take place in the earth that never happened before. And because he wants to use you to be the first, and you look around and see nobody else, you shrink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just say that. And he's trying to give you a new name of grace. Mm. Everything you went through was really designed to empower you. Yeah. Yeah. To take you to a higher mountain mm. and experience the glory of the Lord. Oh, We're in that place now. Yeah. This is just a perfect storm. It's been set up. Mm -hmm. it, it looked like, you, you know, the wrong is winning. Mm -hmm. It looked like there's another establishment of the government. It, 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 it looked like, you know, righteous would not prevail. It's just a setup. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes, For the glory of the Lord to rise up inside of you. Yes, yes. Well, Pastor, take me on home. Take, take me on there. The glory of the Lord only shows up when there is a continuation of constant. Manifestation yes. of dying to sin. Wow, 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 wow. Mm -hmm. That was You're dying to sin, but it's for yes. the glory of God. Yeah. It's for someone else. Mm. I've never in, in the spirit really who I am and, and, and until I started realizing that my most difficult time was talking to me louder than my problems. Mm. Louder than my pain. Louder than my suffering. But you got to be able to have an ear in here in the time of a storm. Yeah. You have to have peace in the midst of worry. You yeah. have to have worship. Yes. Yeah. 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 In the midst to be able to see the glory of the Lord. Amen. You say, Pastor, uh, no one believes in me. That's a lie. <laughs> Jesus died for you. Mm. If that's not enough, Come on now. who else you want to believe in you? Yeah. He died for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. See, the glory is really designed for a time like this. Mm. When people are making their own rules, their own laws, and voting on mm. The glory is the it, 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 It's the perfect time for the glory, but the glory only comes when you go inside and allow him to be king of kings. Lord, Lord, they talk about the glory yes. of the Lord. He showed himself on that mountain. Yes, he did. That's the great I am. Yeah, yeah. That I am. He, he showed himself as the resurrected king. Mm -hmm. He showed himself as the redeemer. He, 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 he showed himself as the lily of the valley. Yeah. He showed himself to be able to reign and rule and above all. And, and, and I'm trying to come home, but I know there's something else that God wants me to give you. And I want to make sure that you get it. And come have his way. He only said 
This is my beloved son. And through his blood. The baptism. Um, John was saying, I, you need to baptize me. I'm not even worthy to be baptized. It's about obedience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He glory on the rushing inside of you when you when what you obey. Yeah. It's not what you hear. It's not what you understand. Mm -hmm. It's what you obey. And we've been teaching people about prayer. We said prayer is God talking to you and you talking to God. That's not prayer. <laughs> but Pastor, I've been taught that ever since Sunday school when I was in, 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 as, a, as a little kid. That's not prayer. If you're going to put obedience in there, oh, no. you just had a conversation. Mm. That's not prayer. Everything Jesus called prayer, he carried it out with obedience. Even if he had to pray more than one time. Amen. It always ended up in the same place. Mm -hmm. Obedience. Mm -hmm. If you get on your knees and you keep coming up doing the same thing, you ain't praying. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor Bill, what are you doing with people like that? No, no, come on with it. You're not praying. Give me exercise, <laughs> but you're not praying. Amen. Prayer come with obedience. Yeah. Every time Jesus came up, he came up with, with the will to carry out yes. his assignment. All right. Yes, he did. When you pray, you come up with the will to carry out the assignment that God gave you. Even if you got drops of sweat that look like blood. But your mind is made up to carry it out. Yeah. Even if you have to talk to people that have been gone 1,400 years. Like most of the people that have been going 900 years like Elijah. And talk about this experience. How is it to go from this earthly realm to this eternal realm? How is it? To take your last breath and everything you've been living in, in this body, releasing it, and, 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 and saying it is finished yet. Yeah. How is it when you've been, been, been transformed mm -hmm. from this earthly realm into eternity? How is it? How is it? He's having that conversation. Mm -hmm. Are you having that conversation with God? Are you in that place with God? Build this temple. Be glorified in the heavens. Mm -hmm. Be glorified yes. Yes. in the earth. Yes. But Lord, I'm looking for you yes. to be glorified yes. in this place. Yes. In this place. Yes. In this place. Yes. That's where we are now. God being glorified in this place. Yeah. I know about Elijah. I know about Moses. I know about Peter. I know about Jay. I know about John. But I'm talking about God being glorified yeah. in this place. Yeah. In this place. Mm -hmm. Don't let pain stop you. Come on. Allow him to be glorified. Mm -hmm. Don't let rejection, don't let money, don't, don't, don't let any bitterness stop you. Amen. Allow him to be glorified. Yes. Amen. In this place. Prepare yourself for him to be glorified. Hallelujah. In this place. But we ain't talking about those lights. That's right. We're talking about a light that's so bright. Mm. You can walk in darkness and, and, and your clothing begin to change. That, that no matter how much bleach you, 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 you use, it, it, it won't show the glory uh, uh, that's taking place in you. Amen. It's not talking about his clothes. Mm -hmm. But really, what 
was called, right? Mm -hmm. The light didn't come from outward. It came from within. Amen. Amen. It just manifested itself. What are you willing to allow to be God glorified in mm. you? That people standing from a distance might know who he is. People that ain't got it right. Mm -hmm. How can they be? Know that there's a God because of this place. Mm -hmm. Quit arguing with people. God ain't trying to make you. I, I'm trying to close, but but I'm trying to help you too. <laughs> Quit arguing with people. That's right. Because even if you're right. That's right. Amen. It's the peace of God Amen. that you carry in the glory. Amen. See, it's a shalom. You know that God got you. You know that God will work it out. You know you don't have to get revealed. You know you don't have to pay people back. It's in that place that people can see the glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hmm. Don't be like Peter. Mm -hmm. Always got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's in this place that God is saying, I want some glory. Mm -hmm. and, and go back and get it right. Yeah. All right. Apologize to some people. Mm -hmm. Tell them I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell them forgive. Yeah. But what if they're wrong, Pastor? They still say it. Come on now. The only one who's been it right is here. Yeah. Come on. All right. We just trying to bring redemption in the earth. Redemption in the family. Redemption in the church. Yes. Amen. This is what we're trying to do. We are with our own back home. He's right. And everybody else is wrong. That's right. What do he say? Yes, yes. Yes. God inwardly is saying some things to you. It's about elevation. Mm -hmm. But it come in at a time you feel is the worst time in your life. Mm -hmm. You got more challenges, more things you can't complete, yeah. more responsibility. But God is talking about, it's in this place I want to be glorified. It's in this place I want to elevate you. It's in this place I want to bless you. It's in this place. Why would a God go to a mountain to talk to people from years and years ago about dying? Glory is manifested when you got this love. Mm. If you look at the world, nobody dies this love anymore. Everybody's glorifying self. I mean, you go on social media, you turn on the news, everything is about glorifying self. And God says, I want to be glorified. I want to be glorified. I'm not out of words, but I'm going to keep it short. I just want to commission those that don't know God, don't have an idea of who He is, those that don't even know they're living by grace, those that God keep bailing out, mm -hmm. out of fire. Out of car accident, out of prison, out of death. And you don't know God. You keep thinking it's you. But it's really the prayers of the righteous. Your mama prayed for you. Your grandmama prayed for you. And they prayed that one day you would see the light that shined and the Mount of Transfiguration. 
that you too will hear a voice saying, hear him. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And that you will fall down to the ground like Peter and James in awe mm -hmm. yeah. of who he is. Yeah, yeah. And you'll confess with your mouth oh, yeah. that he's Lord and that he's Savior. That you believe in your heart, Romans 10 and 9. Yeah. And the Bible says, I shall be saved. Mm -hmm. We give you that invitation to the Christian discipleship today. Yeah. That when you hear this word, that you will know that it's in this place. Mm -hmm. He desires to be glorified. Yeah. Be glorified in the heaven. Be glorified in the earth. Mm -hmm. But most of all, be glorified in this temple. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. Hallelujah. Jesus bless you. Hallelujah.